What do you think are the main achievements for China and Azerbaijan under the Belt and Road Initiative? When His Excellency Mr. President Xi Jinping uh, declared One Belt, One Road Initiative uh, as a grandiose initiative of the People's Republic of China, the Republic of Azerbaijan was one of the first country associated herself with this initiative and we support it because it speaks from our hearts and we see it as a renovation or regeneration of the ancient Silk Road concept. Of Again, course. that brought a lot of prosperity, cooperation, and it was also dialogue of civilizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, international community and wider world get benefited from the ancient Chinese civilization. That's in a, one of the places of the early human civilization. And mm -hmm. also, uh, China also was open to the global civilization and some other cultural uh, dialects as well. We see from that parameters. But in the meantime, in modern times, Belt and Road Initiative has a maritime component and uh, land road component, some other many dimensions as well, including cultural and humanitarian dimension. From all of these parameters, we see this project again as an, a component and uh, also project of an, a cooperation and partnership and also shared prosperity and that can uh, bring a lot of prosperity to the countries that uh, placed along this route. And Azerbaijan is geostrategically located between Caspian Sea and Black Sea, and also Azerbaijan is a natural linkage for the Central Asia mm. towards uh, Europe. Right, because we've seen at the beginning of this year, I wanted to mention this, that a train from China's Xi'an yes. city mm -hmm. arriving finally at Azerbaijan, passing through mm -hmm. Kazakhstan and the Caspian Sea, this is only taking about 11 days. So this is significantly saving time, saving energy and saving money for the countries involved. Indeed, thank you for reminding that mm -hmm. I was also pleased and honored uh, to be present at that ceremony where His Excellency uh, President Tokayev uh, of Kazakhstan and visited Azerbaijan and also along with my president, President Ilham Aliyev and President Tokayev and they were mm -hmm. pleased to be at a ceremony to receive a Chinese uh, train and uh, the de delivering Chinese goods through the territory of the Kazakhstan and Caspian Sea to the European market. And you're absolutely right, in business, in connectivity, time is money. Yeah. And this route pro uh, proved once again that it's in a significant, it's in a competitive, and right. it's in a viable from the transport point of view. And within 11 days, uh, that products uh, from the China and can be delivered to the European market. Right. And in the meantime, it's in a safe and secure. We are working very hard and also working with our Chinese friends to raise further efficiency and effectiveness and competitiveness of this trading route. Therefore, Azerbaijani and Kazakhstan and Georgian companies, we become together and established uh, digital platforms mm -hmm. so that uh, Chinese companies can also knock down one window. That's a crucially important in a business because we are passing multiple countries and they could be different custom systems, different mm -hmm. transport systems, so that they should be unified approach, unified systems, and also unified management system so mm -hmm. that it could be quite efficient uh, for the companies who would like to deliver their products. And I think that we have achieved a certain level, but our ambition is high. And we are also working with our Georgian friends and raising the capacity of the Baku Tbilisi Cars Railway uh, project. And we're also investing to the capacity of the uh, Baku's port. We, it has been designed for the handling of the cargo of the 15 million tons, mm -hmm. but now we think that more cargo volumes are coming, and okay. therefore we'd like to uh, raise it up to 25 million tons. What mm. we see in the meantime, that it's not only just from the east to the uh, west, from the west to the east, cargo right. deliveries as well. And for example? Uh, for example, Central Asian countries and their economies are developing. Right. And also China is also open market and China is also open her market to the wider international community. And we also see that from the European uh, companies and European uh, trading uh, institutions can also use this road to reaching out to the Chinese market and Central Asian market. But mm. along with an east-west route, we are also working north source uh, dimension as well, mm. especially, and we are trying to link Russia and Iranian market, as uh, in the Persian Gulf and with the Russian market. Mm -hmm. And it will also help us somehow to link Atlantic Ocean, St. Petersburg Ocean, through the uh, St. Petersburg uh, ports of the Russia, through the railway linkages passing through the territory of Azerbaijan and Iran. And we see correlation east-west route, north-south route, right. and there could be some other dimensions as well within that process. Mm -hmm. And all of this, we see Azerbaijan as a transport and logistic hub in this wider Eurasian uh, continent.